Hey guys, it's Lee here, and we're going to do a playthrough of a game I used to play called Disgaea. Uh, this game used to be on the PlayStation 2, and now it's on PC, so we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. King Hridrefskoy, the mighty ruler of the Netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the Dark Land. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later... Prince! Prince, wake up! There's only one thing left to do. What fool dares awaken me, the great Lahar? Oh, Prince, I'm glad you're still alive. That, by the way, is your loyal servant, Etna. And as you can see, she has a gun pointed at your head. That pretty much summarizes their whole interaction. Who said I was dead? I was just taking a nap. Sure. Anyways, why are all those weapons behind you? Well, I was having a hard time waking you up. How do you even think you can wake somebody up with a sword? Are you sure you weren't trying to kill me instead? No! Uh, I mean, yes. I just wanted to wake you up. <laughs> Whatever. So, what is it? You better have a good reason for waking me up. Oh, yeah. Like, she's totally forgot this big important news. The whole point of her waking him up was for this one thing. She had one job. Big news. Your father, King Krzyzewski, has died. Sounds so happy, doesn't she? In what? When? Two years ago. Wait a second. So, you're telling me that I've been sleeping for over two years? Look how you know, his father died, his vassals tried to kill him, and his main concern is he's been taking a nap for two years. Yep. Yup? Why didn't you wake me up earlier? Excuse me, but what do you think I've been doing all this time? The netherworld has gone to hell while you were sleeping. Eh, eh, get it, get it. It's not my fault if some other demon steals the title of Overlord. What? Have they forgotten whose title they're trying to steal? <laughs> How bold of them. I shall show no mercy, for I am Laharl, the rightful heir to the throne. <laughs> Your humble vassal Etna will accompany you. And now we have a party. Episode 1 Prince of the Netherworld. Alright, so move around and check out the stuff that Etna tried to wake me with. Nice sword, but it's chipped. Look at my, look at that. She completely destroyed it. Morning star. Not a single round left. Look at that. That is a lot. Cool looking drill. She's just so overzealous. Just destroyed my entire place. New ally. Now who? Who is that? Who are you? She's my mascot. And she has a gun. Not mad about it. But okay. I have a mask off a gun. Sweet. Now back behind this chair. Just come and press the switch. Open the secret room for later. For later. A 
It's just like you, Prince, taking a two-year nap. I only plan on napping for about ten days. Hmm, something's not right. Who can sleep for ten days? Now, you notice this guy is level 309. We are level one. The rest of his stats don't even matter. The fact that he's 309, yeah, we're not doing touching him. All the royal vassals left the castle shortly after the king died. Eve with me still around? Well, you were sleeping. They must have forgotten about you. That's rude. Oh well, looks like I wasted my time digging that grave for you. Look at the happy, smiling... I'll put you in that grave instead. It's just... I don't know if they were genuinely happy that we weren't dead, or they were taunting us. Under construction, please come back later. Now, on the PlayStation 2, this this wasn't a thing, so I'm going to be very excited when that opens up. Let's see what else we got here. In order to prevent intruders, I've closed all the gates. Please talk to the Dimensional Gatekeeper if you'd like to leave the castle. Yeah, whatever. You probably just didn't want to watch the gate. It's probably true. Some of the demons are pretty lazy. I feel the breeze, dude. This castle's getting old. Now, the secret room is going to be somewhere in here. I don't think it opens until after I finish the tutorial, so let's just move on. Good morning, Prince. How are you feeling? Couldn't be worse. My body feels really stiff from sleeping too much. Why don't you warm up on the tutorial map? Go see the Dimensional Gatekeeper and she'll send you there. I mean, that's, that's the plan. Items can be purchased at the Rosen Queen Co. Netherworld branch. Each character can equip up to four items. A character can equip one weapon and three other items, such as armor. Monsters can only equip weapons from the Monsters Only Weapons category. It is best to equip a weapon that suits a character's inherent strengths. We'll get to inherent strength when we actually get into the item shop. Alright, all this stuff is probably closed, so we're going to ignore it. Have you saved yet? Well, I mean, sure. Calm. Calm yourself, game. We're gonna save. We're going to save. Okay. Yep. Alright, you happy? Satisfied? Alright, so... Another reason we're not buying anything? We have... Gum. We have gum. That's all we have. Gum and 300 hell. Hell in the bottom right there, that's your, uh, money. So... We don't have anything. We're just gonna move on. I am the Dimensional Gatekeeper. I will input the coordinates for your desired destination, Prince, and you will instantly be transported there. Please select where you would like to go. Massive list, isn't it? We're going to the tutorial, and then Battle Basics 1. Now then, time for a little warm-up. I feel a little rusty. Ah, uh, Prince, we've got company. How convenient. Stray demons, huh? Allow me, Prince. You may be a little out of practice after your long slumber. Don't worry, I came prepared. Come on, Prinny Squad! Prinnies are like the best part of this game! Get your butts out here! What do you think of this pretty squad I hired? Look at them! They're my loyal servants. They'll do anything I say. Pretty, dude. Are you sure about that? When in doubt, brute force it out. See? They're loyal! Does it make sense to beat up your allies before a battle? Anyways, I think we've made those demons wait long enough already. Hey, you're right. How nice of them to be so patient. Yeah, that's considerate of them. To show my appreciation, I'll only beat them half to death. You're so kind. If I were you, I'd beat them all the way to death. K kind Now Laharl hates nice words. It drives him 
baddie. Stop that! That word gives me goosebumps! Damn it! I take it back! I'm gonna beat them all the way to death! Hmm, he's still a kid. So quick-tempered. It looks like carrying out my plan will be a lot easier than I thought. Mm -hmm. You say something! Oh, nothing! Nothing at all! So, what are your orders, Prince? You do remember how to fight, right? Tutorial Basics of Battle Just in case you forgot, let me explain the basics of battle. Move the cursor over the base panel and press A to select the characters you wish to dispatch. If you want to cancel an order to dispatch a character, move the cursor over the character and press B. For example, if you press B here, you can cancel the action. Now let's issue a command to a dispatched character. First, move him or her next to an enemy. And select attack. You have now assigned an action. However, the character won't attack immediately. If you want to execute the actions that you've assigned, open the menu and select either execute or in turn. In this case, let's pick Execute. See? The character attacked. Assign actions, Y, Execute. Remember this, you'll be using it a lot. If you assign actions to multiple characters, they will be executed in the order that you assign them. Be careful, you can't cancel actions once you've chosen to execute them. After you're done issuing commands, open the menu and end your turn. It will then be the enemy's turn. Well, that happened. Ow! Why do I have to be the one to do this? I'm the next overlord for crying out loud. That was an example of something not to do. Only an idiot would rush straight into the enemy alone. You made me do it! Characters killed in battle, like our prince here, can be revived by paying hell to the castle's hospital. If all of your dispatched characters are defeated, the game will be over. So the basic idea is to gang up on one character and beat the living daylights out of him? Exactly, prince. Remember to use your head next time. You're the one who told me to do it! Team attacks sometimes occur when allies are positioned next to attacking characters. If several characters attack the same enemy in a row, a combo will result and greater damage will be dealt. If you want to know more, press Y and select help from the menu. We we won't be doing that. Alright, so the first one is pretty easy. Let's see. Now we're gonna try to get some of that sweet, sweet combo action going on. Alright, so you can only get a combo with people who are to the left, to the right, or directly behind you. So right now I'm going to try to attack the person in front of me. He's going to work with the 80% chance with the pretty beside him, 50% with Etna, and 60% with Ohara. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, got three people. Right, not a lot of damage, but... I mean, it was, it's a printy attacking. I didn't expect much. Now over here, we do basically the same thing. And the names are randomly generated of these printies, so we have, um, I think Fixer's gonna be my fave. All right, go ahead and try that. Only two. Now, uh, let's see. He has five hit points. He has nine. So we're gonna send some people back. Harl to be here. I want this Etna to be here. I want this Chucky to be here. And Fixer. Five, nine, yes. So. We are going to attack that guy, and that should kill him. Um, but just in case, we'll we'll shoot him. And right 
here. This will happen there. Now, when you attack diagonally, you don't get the combo. So you notice that when I did that, there was no chance anyone would help her. And that's fine. Uh, attacking the same enemy multiple times increases the damage. It gets you a combo. And um, the reason I went Laharl first is if everybody... Everybody who combos up gets the EXP. That's how it's shared. And he doesn't want any help. That's fine. That's Laharl. Should have expected no less. Okay. That's fine. One guy left. Okay. Not, not his wisest choice, but... Um, it's definitely a choice. Gonna move all these guys into hopefully a good position here. Okay. Alright, so we'll let the printings attack first because they're gonna do like no damage. Hopefully Lahara works with people. I doubt he will. But maybe he will. Now the reason I'm ending turn is because, um, they must do. Even if they miss, they'll be fine. Oh, they tried. They tried. Okay, he worked with Edna. That's fine. And it's dead. Alright. Hot dog. And we get some hell for that. Awesome. Alright. Next. Battle Basics 2. More stray demons. How annoying. I wish I could just toss them. Well, why don't you? You can? Tutorial. Lifting and throwing. For our ignorant prince, let me explain the commands lift and throw. In situations like this, where you're too far for your attacks to reach. Pick up a character by selecting lift. Hey, stop it, Etna! Then select throw. You'll have to decide on a direction and distance, too. I'll throw you next to an enemy. I'm not a big fan of this, because then he's all by himself, and that's how you get jumped. See? That covered a lot of ground. Now you're able to attack. You can use lift and throw on both allies and enemies. Keep in mind that only humanoid characters can use lift and throw. Monsters can't do it. By making good use of these commands, you can extend your attack range. This is very helpful in moving around on some maps, so don't forget it. There are other uses for the commands besides covering ground, like holding an enemy so he or she can't move, saving injured allies from danger, etc. By the way, printies will explode when they're thrown, so handle them with care. Dude, you gotta be kidding! I love the printies! So good! And if you throw an enemy at an enemy, there may be other fun uses waiting to be discovered. Try experimenting. That's it. I'm gonna throw you next time. Oh, and one more thing. A character will take damage if the turn ends and he or she is still holding someone. So, spoiler alert, if you throw a character into another character, an enemy, uh, they just get tougher. And, um, I mean, that's good if you're trying to grind, but if not, you know. Now, if you go to an enemy and you click on them, you can see all their stats, whatever items they have, and you can also most importantly see their movement range. Because I want to kill this guy. But I need to be in a position where she doesn't just take out my weaker people. So let's get Laharl and uh, Etna. Go over there. And then, why are you at the bottom? Are you just not level? So, you have 15 hit points. I don't think Etna's gonna kill you. Wow, nobody wants to attack them. That's... that's fine. Um... 
we'll go ahead and in turn here. Now, the bonus. Bonus is random for every map um, and every playthrough. So even if you play the game through twice, you won't get the same bonus. Now, the zero bonus is just what you get for completing the uh, level period. Your bonus levels up by you doing combo attacks, uh, how much damage you deal, um, things of that nature. That's gonna look, and uh, there's gonna be some other stuff, geostones we'll talk about later on, that'll help you raise your bonus. Okay, Laharo, just kill him by yourself. Get all the ASP for yourself. All right, so this is not an ideal situation. Um, we're gonna gonna move and do things hopefully Let's see she has 23 hit points Ugh. all right so we get here you move here and then you move here all right 23 huh you attack you attack you attack that should be plenty. Oh, they work together. Good job. Should be no damage though. Oh. oh. Four. That's not good. Okay, good. Now Nick pretty much means you did like the minimum amount of damage that you could possibly have done. Um, and you can crit in this game, so that's that's nice. Um, let's see. 14 hit points, so we're gonna try to kill it. Just execute. Okay, just two people. Might die. Oh, perfect. Actually, that was really good. Um, very surprised. So, you go here. The Harl can come here. There's a good chance the Harl will help no matter what. You come here. You come over here. And then you come over here. Alright, so how many points do you have? 15. Um, can you not kill that, Sister Sue? Um, I want everyone to work together and get as much EXP as possible. I have a feeling that's not gonna happen, but I mean, you know, we'll see. Good. Blast it. Now this thing's not dead. It's fine, it's dying next turn. Okay, so... I want to get in the position to... make sure this Joker's dead. Now, I don't, I don't foresee him living... no matter what he does, but... He's got, what, four hit points? Yeah, he's, he's toast. Just in case... set the formation anyway. Everybody, take a swing at him. Alright. Oh! Oh, it was only three. That was four. Cool. Just excited. Sweet! Ooh, two level ups. Good to go. Get our bonus hell. And some gum! Alright then. We're gonna go ahead and pause the tutorial here. We'll pick back up again next time with the Geo Effect tutorial. Uh, have a good day and thanks for watching.